Recruitment is one of the main barriers in research. To tackle this issue, we will look into how you can develop a recruitment plan. In this video series, we'll introduce the two main elements of a recruitment plan. This includes finding your participants and developing a budget. To get started, you should do a little research to help you understand and assess your recruitment feasibility. To do this, you'll want to review your study protocol, also review prior study campaigns, and determine your screen failure rate. First, you'll need to consider what's in your study protocol. This includes how many people do you need to enroll, are there any demographic specifications, and do the inclusion-exclusion criteria point to a general or targeted population? You should also assess any positive or negative factors that may impact accrual. Some factors that may help with recruitment include, is this a research area with high interest? Is there an existing cohort? Do you have access to a high volume referrer? And are there existing partnerships that you can leverage? Some factors that may have challenges include stringent eligibility criteria, number, frequency, and intensity of study procedures, and having an aggressive timeline for accrual. Next, it's a good idea to review prior study campaigns so that you can identify what has worked in the past, what didn't work, and how much was spent on previous studies. Understanding what your study's anticipated screen fail rate is can help you figure out how many people will have to be screened to get enough eligible participants. If you've identified similar prior study campaigns, look back at the screening data for similar studies and try to understand how many people were spoken with over the phone, how many people were screened in person, and how many charts were reviewed. Understanding these numbers will help you estimate the ratio of interested to enrolled participants. If you don't have access to prior study campaigns, you can use a 10 to 1 ratio as a starting point. If you have identified that your study has positive or negative factors influencing your accrual rate, you can also adjust your rate accordingly. Now let's practice doing a screen failure rate calculation. Say your target enrollment is 5 and historically your screen fail rate is 8 to 1, meaning you had to screen 8 candidates in order to enroll one participant, then your recruitment plan should attract at least 40 potential study candidates. Now that you have reviewed your study protocol, assessed feasibility, reviewed prior study campaigns, and have your screen fail rate, you're ready to get started with our next videos, planning and budgeting.